Yeah. Like I mentioned uh, in one of the messages I sent you, the last time I was ever in the rain was 35 years ago. <laughs> How many people we got today? On the weekend of March 10th and 11th, 2018, 13 Bicycle Touring Pro readers from all across Central and Southern California gathered at my parents' home in the city of Camarillo. Some of these people were experienced bicycle travelers, while others had never done an overnight bike tour before. Together, we loaded up our bicycles and began cycling south toward the Pacific Ocean. This was the very first ever Bicycle Touring Pro Bikes and Burritos Overnight Bike Tour. While Southern California is usually warm and sunny, the Bikes and Burritos Tour just happened to fall on one of the state's rare weekends of rainfall. So our first day on the road was a wet one. Dressed up in full rain gear, we made a quick bathroom break at California State University Channel Islands, and then continued cycling south toward the sea. There she is. <laughs> Keep going. But uh, yeah, this is now the PCH Highway 1 here in Southern California. As soon as we turned onto the Pacific Coast Highway, the rain really began to fall. We stopped for a moment to see Magoo Rock, which is featured in hundreds of movies and car commercials. And then we raced toward the Sycamore Canyon campground, which was just a short distance up the road. Once in the campground, we quickly went about setting up our tents and changing into dry clothes. As soon as night fell, we lit up a campfire and my parents arrived a short while later with warm burritos from one of my favorite restaurants, Chipotle. In the morning, we were relieved to see that the rain had stopped. We ate a quick breakfast, packed up our tents, and began cycling back north in the direction we had come the day before. When I was 17 years old and training for my first long distance bike tour, this 40 mile bike ride from Camarillo to the sea and back was the route that I would take over and over again as I planned and prepared for my much longer bike tour down the California coastline. And now, 18 years later, I was able to share this same bike ride with 13 of my Bicycle Touring Pro readers. 
Hopefully, for those on the tour who are new to bicycle touring, this short overnight bike trip will be just the first of many bicycle tours they complete in their lifetime. Yeah, it's over. We're gonna camp out in your backyard tonight. <laughs> All right, so that just about does it for the first ever Bicycle Touring Pro Bikes and Burritos Overnight Bike Tour. Um, one of the things I wanna say first off is thank you to everybody who participated in the tour. It was so great meeting you all. And one of the things um, that I really enjoyed about the Bikes and Burritos tour is the fact that I got to meet my actual readers because a lot of what I do as the Bicycle Touring Pro is, is a lonely existence. I, I go off on bike trips by myself, I make these videos by myself, I write articles and produce podcasts by myself, and sometimes it can be very difficult to tell um, if I'm actually reaching people. So it was very cool to uh, meet all of these individual people who had watched my videos or listened to my podcast or bought my book or whatever. So thank you guys so much for showing up uh, once again. It was great meeting you all, and I hope we see each other again very soon. The other thing I wanted to say um, while I've got you here is that I just wanted to give a big thank you to my mom and dad who helped me organize this event, my mom especially. Um, I couldn't have done it without her help. So uh, my mom helped me get the canopy for the event and f get the food, all of the food. I'm terrible with food, so she helped me with that. She went and got the burritos and delivered them to the campsite and then helped me tear everything down the following day. So thank you, mom and dad. I really appreciate it. Um, if this bike tour looked like fun to you, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Maybe I will organize another bike tour like this in the future. I do have some upcoming events coming up, however. Um, if you're interested in cycling with me or meeting me in some part of the world, just go to bicycletourinpro.com forward slash calendar and you'll see all of the events that I have scheduled as the Bicycle Touring Pro coming up. Many of these events, all of these events, are things that you can join me on. So um, if there's an event in your area, be sure to come on out and say hello. I'd, I'd really like that. Okay, guys, that's it. I'm Darren Alf from BicycleTouringPro.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.